Hello. My name is Mervyn and it's my life, my choice. Yeah, fine, thank you. Nice to see you, dear. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, fine. Hello. 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 I can remember when Mervyn was born and thinking, well, I'd have Mervyn with me all my life and I would do everything for him and that he wouldn't be able to do certain things for himself. I imagined him perhaps in a group home or something like that, but not to actually live on his own. I mean, he lost his dad five years ago, which was quite a, a blow to us both, of course. Um, so every time I wanted to do something or was invited somewhere, I always had to put into place somebody to look after Mervyn. After he'd been to college, it was just a case of day services that were offered. We did put him on a housing list, but that never came to fruition. So yes, there were things that he would have liked to have done, but because of perhaps my commitments, because I was working, that he wasn't able to fulfil. So when I first heard about personal budgets, um, I didn't really know what it was about at all, until we went to some of these meetings where it was explained. and. Uh, Really, the first impact for me was when I went to the Pro Star Stadium and a lady from, I think it was Wigan, talked about her experiences with her son and what she'd been able to do through a personal budget and how he had his own house. He had a little job going for him. And I just thought, well, you know, if she could do it, um, then perhaps we could give it a try. Echo, white. During the process, we were helped by a team of people and first of all, we asked Mervyn to put down the things that he would really like to do, which he did. I, I found out that Mervyn would like to live independently, which he'd never really talked about before. Um, that was one of the things, but we didn't know if that would be possible. I knew he would wanted to join a gym because he's always wanted to do something physical like that. Um, and he also likes his theatre breaks um, and holidays and going to football with his brother, all these little things that perhaps he hadn't been able to do before. Mm. I like my house because I love it and it is better for me. The reality of individual budgets are that you're very flexible in how you can use the money that they give you. So all these sort of things has been able to develop him and make him more confident. Well, before he used to go to five days a week to day services. Yeah. And now he only goes hey. two. Yeah. Still, co still continues going to college and goes twice a week to a gym, which was a really good asset. Yeah. You, you really enjoy that, don't you? Yeah. He's got two PAs who come in called Mitch and Tracy, and he's now in his own flat, yeah. five minutes away from me, and he's very happy, aren't you, Mitch? I am. Hello Tracy. Hello, Hello Mervyn. How are you doing? I'm fine sweetheart. Yeah, fine. Busy? Yeah, what's on for It would be difficult for Mervyn to live on his own without any support. And so it has been good that we've been able to get money through this direct payment to pay for PAs to come in and to support him in, in these different ways. And it also takes the burden off me because I can live my life and he is now growing in confidence and feels comfortable and can enjoy having a bit of independence. I can have fried egg. I'll have a fried egg. Fried egg, chips, egg and beans? Yeah. That's my favourite meal of all I've heard. Oh, Tracy. Chips, egg and beans. This personal budget is giving him his dreams and goals, is achieving his dreams and goals. And to see him in his flat on his own and doing everyday things, tasks, like everybody does. And he's getting more confident doing it. It's, it's, a, it's lovely to see. On a Friday, he goes to Wellington Market and one of his PAs has opened a pound shop. Um, so Mervyn works there on the till this wouldn't have happened had he not had this PA, I don't think. 
Um, so somebody transports him there. Sometimes he stays the night with his PA, um, has the weekend with him, and then comes back. If he wants to go camping, he can pay for somebody to go with him and set it up. He can pay to go on a holiday. He's just been to Blackpool. Um, he can go in a caravan. He can go to theatre trips because he loves the theatre. Yeah, I do. Um, and through his budget, he's, he's mm -hmm. unable to do these things. I'll see you on Thursday. Thursday. All right, swimming. Okay. Yes. Okay, man. Right. See you soon. See you soon, Mum. Bye. Bye. I must admit, the first day he moved out, I was in pieces. <laughs> But as the months have gone on, we can see the outcomes, we can see what good it has done for, for both of us, really. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is, you really. know, um, every time Mervyn comes to our house, he takes something back with him. Um, and he also brings something, such as washing. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, uh, I, I think it's, it's a good thing. And I would encourage other people mm. to go along that road. It is a risk. You don't know what you're going into but well worth it. I feel like happy and cheerful.